What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, iOS 18 Beta 1 just released a couple of days ago and I wanted to give it a few days to tell you if you should install it or not, to see if it's stable and how the battery life really is. And spoiler alert, this might be one of the most stable betas that we've had in a while. We put it on our primary phone. This is our 15 Pro Max. And yeah, it is our daily driver. It works ridiculously well. Now, I do want to let you guys know, the main reason you guys are probably going to be wanting to download this beta is Apple Intelligence, and it's not here. Not the new smart stack notifications for all of your alerts that come through notification-wise. It's all old, it all looks the same. Aside from scheduling messages and a couple other things, there's not a lot of new here that would cause you to run out and download iOS 18. Now, having said that, getting that disclaimer out of the way, let's jump into it and talk about how the stability has been and the battery life. Let's go. So jumping right into beta one for iOS 18, again, as you can see, everything has been pretty quick to load. We haven't had any crashes. You can jump around through the OS and everything shockingly has been very stable. So as you can see here, everything's loading pretty easily. It's, it's been very surprising and pleasant surprise at that for beta one. Now we have had little bugs along the way where sometimes the uh, face ID sensor, if you turn your phone would kind of pop up on the right here, but as soon as you uh, rotated it back, it would disappear. So you're going to have little bugs like that, but we have not had a single system crash yet. Not only that, but we haven't even had a single app crash. So even third-party apps jumping into it, everything has been pretty quick and fluid as it was on iOS 10. Now I will also mention that shockingly, there hasn't even been any dropped frame rates. And again, obviously you can't see this in the video just because of what we're recording at, but it has been shockingly amazing that there has been not a single app crash. I'm probably gonna jinx it here now, but I do just wanna let you know if you are thinking about getting it, and putting it on a primary device, a daily driver, it might not be the worst decision you can make. Now, again, like I said in that introduction, it's very stable, but a lot of the features a lot of people want that we'll be downloading this for is not here. All of your notifications, and I'm not even sure if I have any right now, but uh, let me get this unlocked. It's just not here yet. So I don't have any older notifications. It still looks exactly like iOS 10 did. All of that Apple intelligence is not here. It's not coming until summer, which technically does start in another week and a half here in the US. But I would assume beta three possibly is when we'll see that. You might wanna wait till then to get this since everything is pretty much the same, unless you really do want to be able to rearrange your app icons and have those gaps all over the place and that new control center. That I think is just somewhat gimmicky to be honest with you. Uh, one other glitch we have found in here is what happens is when you actually install iOS 18, you'll have your favorites, you'll have music, and then you'll have all of your data connections. The moment you try to create a new one, it will add a new page here. And as you can see, there's nothing on it, but we can't get rid of this one page. It just always stays there. So that is one of the other kind of glitches and bugs. Hopefully in the next beta, we'll be able to have like a remove button if we want to delete this page. But currently we are stuck with that. I do wanna show you battery health and talk about battery life, obviously. In this beta now, running it for a couple days, the phone hasn't gotten ridiculously hot after the initial install, but I am still assuming to see the capacity drop here in the near future. As you can see though, we are still holding up at 98% after 287 cycle counts. Not too bad, I think, especially as opposed to how critical we were last year for iPhone 14 Pro Max. So definitely good in that regard. Now I will say the battery life itself, it has been decent. It's been okay, not the best or as good as it was just on uh, iOS 10. So keep that in mind, not surprising it is a beta, but it has not been terrible. We're at 90% here. We basically also did uh, unplug this around 7 a.m. So about two hours lost 10%, not great but it has been dependent on the day. I haven't been watching what the usage by app has been, so that could be a contributing factor. But if you want to install this and you're concerned about battery life, it is decent. Again, keep in mind, it's not gonna be what you had from the prior builds, 
but I just wanted to let you know it is okay to run. So yeah, I want to keep this one short and sweet for you guys today. That is the main points. It is a stable build. Usually, as weird as it sounds, beta 2s and 3s recently in beta cycles have been the worst. It always usually takes a step back. So keep that in mind as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.